Hi there, this is Lena from Lena's Crafty Corner. This is um, Roxy's Weekly Challenge, week 21. So I'm three weeks behind. I'll explain why as we get going. Um, this is for the upcycled narrow window envelope with a flip. Um, so I'm running out of envelopes because I've had that many attempts. I'll get the 45 minutes, I'll get it started now. There we go. Um, I've got it on timer, so I'm just going to move it out of my way on timer, on um, charger. So I haven't got the same envelopes as Rachel used. I've got one of these. It's got like a side opening. So I'm just going to first of all cut these down. So as I'm cutting them down, um, I'll cut some of this off because I don't, don't need them that long anyway. So we'll get a bit of that off. Um, I think I mentioned in a previous video um, that we thought Oscar had kennel cough, so we've been keeping him away from other dogs and we was waiting for the weekend. This is a fortnight ago to take him to the vets, which we did. We took him, well, it was bank holiday weekend, so we took him on the Monday Monday morning and um, Tuesday morning after the bank holiday because everything's closed here on the bank holiday um, and um, to find out that they did some blood tests and things. I think I did actually, I think I've actually done a video since we knew uh, but I haven't said anything. Um, I took some bloods, rung me back more or less straight away to say that it wasn't kennel cough. His, um, he might have had kennel cough as well as because it did sound very much like kennel cough, but he'd actually got a tumour. I'll take that little bit off. Um, and they needed to reduce the swelling and to stop the sort of gagging and the choking effect to give him some quality of life. They didn't, they thought that he still had you know plenty of quality of life if they could stop the stop the swelling and stop the coughing so they gave him antibiotics and gave him some anti-inflammatory but unfortunately we took him back again on wednesday and they hadn't worked from back sort of seven days later because he was struggling and they found now that he, he they did tell us previously that he had got um Uh, liver, sorry, I'm trying to concentrate and talk about this, which isn't easy. Um, liver and kidney failure. They've now told us since that he's also got a heart murmur. So the longer this cough carries on, he's obviously, his heart could give way. But the still thing, he could have a good quality of life if we can get this uh, cough under control which is what we're dealing with at the moment unfortunately um, the antibiotics and the first lot of anti-inflammatory didn't work they've now put him on another form of anti-inflammatory which seemed to be working a lot better with the breathing but um, he can't have the steroids and till we're um, we've got the other things clear of his system so it's a bit of a waiting game and we're trying to, you know, he doesn't realise that we're doing things for his, to help him. We're trying to get honey into him to ease with the tickly cough. Um, and he, he does like the taste of it. He just won't take it for us. He doesn't mind the taste once you give him it, but um, he won't take it voluntary for some reason. I think because he's had that many tablets this last week, so he just, well, I wouldn't say doesn't trust us, but he just doesn't want to take them. So we're having a bit of difficulty getting things down him. So the reason why I've been struggling to get this video done is because he's got an horrendous cough and it sounds horrible. So I don't want... I mean, we can't stop him coughing, you know, it's nothing we can do to stop him coughing. He, he does cough, but I didn't think it very pleasant for you to listen to that as I'm doing the video. So um, 
I think literally I've got that many started projects of all three of the challenges, week 21, 22 and 23 because I got fed up of doing these and gave it up as a bad job and went on to the next one. But as I say, it's been over the three weeks that, because obviously there was a few days before we went to the vet, when we just thought it was kennel cough and we was waiting to get treatment. Um, so, it's been a very sad time for us. So I'm going to have another attempt. So what I'm going to do with these bigger ones, that one's just the, the ones like Rachel did, so that's fair enough. But with these ones, what I've done is I've cut them down, um, but to make them narrow is what I'm going to do is I'm going to narrow that side there, like that, and then the folds now here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold that into there. I can actually hear him coughing. I hope you can't. It's, it's, in, the, it's in the background. He's actually with his dad outside. But as I say, when he wants to come to me, I let him come to me because... You know, I can't refuse him. He likes being with me, but if he starts coughing, it just makes it difficult to do the video. So we'll tear this bit down. You'll see more what's... I mean, you'll have watched Rachel do hers, so you'll know what I'm trying to achieve anyway. But, uh, yeah, so that was the original crease there, which I'll be covering. There's the bit that's going to become each side of the paper as the flip. And obviously that's the pocket which speaks for itself. I'm going to do it that way round on that side of the page so that I've got that envelope at the top. Um, if I get round to this one, I will do this one this way round with the envelope at the bottom. That's that one. And then this one again, it's it's the same thing. I'm going to narrow this side. So I'm just going to go in there and narrow that like that. And then I'm going to narrow that down there fold it back to narrow it so we've got a narrow piece this side it's a bit narrower than this one um ideally i suppose if i did them both the same side would have size would have been good but and then i can just cut some of this off now just get rid of this piece here uh don't know how big my how big that is let's do that to the Oh, and then one of the videos I did where Oscar was quite relaxed and chilled and just asleep next to me. And I wasn't in frame for any of it. That wasn't one of these challenges. That was something else. And I've just had to delete that one as well. So, Right, so that's the three. Um, let's go with this one with the thing at the bottom. So the back side of it is going to be journaling space. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I don't want to start coughing now. Uh, let's have a look if I've got some bits that would be good for... Oh, that's quite pretty. I like that one. It's one of G. Kerr's papers. What I'm going to do here, I'm just going to put a little bit of whatever's on the, just round the edge, so I don't have the white showing. I might not have time to do that on the mall, but that's that. And we'll do that. 
do that. And we'll do that to there. So that can get on there. You'll be able to journal on that. It's nice and muted for journaling on. Let's find another one. Uh, so I will list these below, but I, I'm not quite sure. I've made a list of them, but I'm not quite sure what they are by memory. So uh, let's have a look. I know that one I've just pulled out, so that is one of Rachel's. So I'm just looking for one. Hmm. Great start. Loads and loads of papers here and can't find one I want. Well, I can, but it's I've got it the wrong way around. Well, this one's quite nice. So I'll go with a bit of this. I don't really like doing that where I put them both side by side like that. So I'm going to put a piece of this here. pieces and have the white on so it doesn't take me ages trying to do them. Uh, let's have a look. Put a bit of this here. Just tear this off. I can turn that around and cut that down. So let's just get this on first as I'm going to be forever just filling in pieces. Actually, I've just seen the back of that. Yeah, on this occasion, I'm not going to use G curves. I'm going to use the back of it. I do love this G curves paper, though. I use this a lot because it is so muted and I like it. This is the pink butterflies. The ones I tend not to remember are the ones that, um, if I've only just found them, and I've found a few different um, Etsy shops lately that I've not used before. Um, I tend to recognise like um, Geekers and Artie Mays and Shabby Dabby Doo Down and Rachel, of course, but it's some of the ones I don't use as much. Well, only just, I probably will use them as much, but I've only just started using them. So, um, so let's put that on there. Oh yeah, I quite like that. And I think I want to put that that way. So I'm going to do that. Hmm. Again, 
I've done that the wrong way around, so I'm messing about. I mean, my head's not really in it today. I'm trying to keep focused. Um, it's been a bad few weeks. So. Hopefully when we take him back to the vets, we get some news that they, I mean, we know that the eventual outcome isn't good, but if we can give him a bit of quality of life for the next few, you know, even if it's only a few months, as long as he's not in pain, that's all we can hope for. You know, we've got to do things for his benefit, not for ours. And uh, I'd got myself prepared to say goodbye to him on Wednesday but the vet thought it was you know we didn't need to do that and it wasn't what we wanted to do we were just preparing ourselves for the worst because we thought he was in so much pain and he said he's more discomfort than pain it sounds worse than that it is we just need to get the the swelling down so you have to go with what they tell you. You've got to trust in what they're saying, haven't you? So I do like that with Rachel's. Um, but then I think I would have liked... Now I can probably do that on... I like this piece as well, but... I can't get that in there, so I'm going to take that piece off and I can use that somewhere else. And then I can put that in there if I put it straight. If I get this straight in front of me. Oh, say my, my head's really not in. Oh, that looks pretty. So I think Rachel actually used these particular ones of her papers as well. Um, so I'm not going to be using all hers. Well, not that they'll look as good as Rachel's anyway, because you know, she's the, as I've said many times before, she's the queen of collage, or in my opinion anyway. I love watching Rachel collage and using all papers that don't match and they just look perfect together. You know, she'll say, I like the clashy look and it just looks perfect. Hmm. Right, let's just fold that back down. This piece he doesn't matter because this piece is going round the page, but this piece does, it wants to have something on. So we've gone for that there. Um, this isn't one of Rachel's. I do need to look up what it is because I can't remember. But it's a shabby sheet one. It is one of the pe new people I've just found. Oh, I'll go that way. I haven't got so much to trim off there then. And then I haven't got so much to waste. So I can go with that. a bad headache i don't know that's partly where the just get himself a bit worked up i don't know so <laughs> i mean it's not that crafting is difficult for me i mean normally however bad i am i can craft but it's trying to just get the video done um so that you know the content looks at least half decent when you're feeling a bit rubbish but I'm not sure when I'm going to feel better so I just thought well if I can get it done without 
Oscar coffin while Oscar's happy not to be in here. If it's his choice to come in here, then I'll let him in, you see. So I can still craft, but I can't put the video on. It's unpleasant to listen to for us. So... My son came the other day and he said, oh, are you managing to listen to him doing that? I said, well, we have no choice, you know, as long as he's not in pain. He says, is he not in pain? I said, well, no, the vet says it's irritation. Like us when we have a chest infection, it's not a sore throat as such. It's just a tickly cough, but it sounds really bad. The worst part is that what it's doing to the rest of his body, you know, if it's making him breathless. And we know he's poorly because he's not asking to go for a walk. He's not barking, of course, because he, can, he can't bark. So, yeah, so it's, it has been a bit of a rough couple of weeks. Oh, I like this one as well. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to put a bit of that in there. Let me just tear that that way. I'm doing it upside down. I'm doing it away from myself. It's just the way I've got it. So I'll do that. And do that there. I'll glue it in a minute when I've decided what else I'm going to put on. I've got some of that lovely text, but then I've got text in there saying so maybe not. Um, what have I got here? Oh, I love this. this. I need to print some more of this because this is beautiful. This one. And that's all I've got left of that one. I normally print more than one out, but I didn't on this occasion. Oh, I've got a little bit of that blue. That's Rachel's as well. I can't just put bits out. There's blue in here, so I could just add a little bit of blue. just be me me being lazy doing them this way before I glue them down let's get them glued down and I can see what I can put on the bottom so let's have a look at this one here going to do I just realized I'm going to put a piece in here as well because and I'm going to use a bit of that because if it's seen when it's opening I want something that looks quite nice in there so or is that a bit of a waste of that piece I could just use an edge there I'm just going to use a piece of this edge in it'll strengthen that edge as well I don't want the blue of this paper showing. So I'll just put that. I don't want these to stick together because they're not drying it. Yeah, so I like that. I like that. I think I am just going to put that piece up there like that. Yep. Yeah. And then while I do the next one, I'll just leave it open a bit just to dry. And then I'll... I'm 
hoping you can be able to see that. So I just want a piece here. Um, what have I got? What have I put on this side? Put that on there. I could just put a little bit more of that. What's that piece? Is that... Now, I think that is too small. It's... Uh, let me have a look. If I've just got, got a little bit of this, that would go on there. And just put a piece of this. So we'll have to look up who these all belong to. Get my Etsy shop, my Etsy listing up, and of all the ones I've bought, then I can tell you properly what they all are. Ah. Sticky. That'll be the right way up, I think. So I'm not putting anything else on these until I come to use them. But that will go like that. That will go like that. I'm just leaving that open for now. I will come back in and just glue this. Um, and I don't know whether Rachel actually glued down this side. or just used that to attach it. But she definitely glued, obviously, the bottom. So we'll... We can, oh no, I better leave that open. That's what I just said, didn't I? Just to dry it because it's very sticky. And I've got 18 minutes left, so I should get at least another one done. We're going to do one this way up this time. So what am I going to put in there? I'm not going to use that because I think Rachel used that one in hers. So use something... A little bit different. I think I'm going to use some text in here and I'm going to do it from top to bottom and then I don't have to come back in and cover that piece at the top that might be seen. So I'll do that I think because this is just for the what the, you see through the window. table's going to need it. As I say, I've had several attempts this morning to get this one done. We're now way into the afternoon and I'm only just... I had to give up for a while because I got not frustrated with Oscar, just frustrated because I couldn't get it done. And because I'm worried about him. And it just makes you very stressed. And I thought, oh, I'm just going to have to give it up. So I gave it up for a while, had something to eat, had a drink, had a sit outside with my husband and said, right, I'm going to try it again. While he's calm, we'll try it again. Right. I am going to put that down there because I like that. It's like a lace piece. It was a bit that I had left over from the wedding journal. So I'm going to use a bit of that. If I did it that way, oh no, it, it's all right. It's um, it's checked paper, so it's not. Doesn't matter which way around you do it for writing on, for journaling space. Whereas I use this side on the other one. I'll go the other side on this one. Trying to use up 
the obviously that's what the challenge is the upcycling of the envelopes and also lots of papers these bits not particularly the new kits i'm using um they are now scraps but that's only because i did this with full pieces and now i'm left with scraps because <laughs> i've done so many But then if this one hadn't have worked, I've literally run out at the moment until I get some more in. So um, I want something down there, don't I? So what am I going to put down there? Again, I don't want a full piece. Should I put... Now I want to use that somewhere else, that panel in of... Again, this is one of um, Rachel's. Let's put a bit of this on here because you wouldn't, you won't be um, journaling on this piece because it's going to be where the fold is. So it doesn't have to be journaling worthy on this piece. It can just be whatever. Just some odds and ends that I'd got. So this can go. And I don't know whether I'm going to be sewing them after. Possibly not on this one. Um, oh, I think I'm going to use some really old book page down there. But I'm even going to use the edge because... I like the edge, so um, I'll turn that across there. And probably just have that sideways along there and do that. It's lovely, lovely old paper, this, but it was so dusty and dirty. I've had to wash it with baby wipes and keep leaving it to dry. Um, it breaks up quite easy as well because it's quite brittle. But um, it was so smelly and I couldn't use it. So that's how I do it. I do it with fragrance baby wipes. Sometimes put a bit of fabric freshener on them if, if I need to. Yeah, so that bit wouldn't be for journaling on because that's going to fold over like that um, and that bit's down there here I might do the same there I might use this bit up I'm trying to use up all my little bits as well oh my glue's running out did I get another pot of glue ready? Maybe not. My camera will go off in about five minutes. So I'll put it back on and then come straight back to you. Uh, oh, I'm going to use a bit of that uh, um, G curves on this one that I, that I didn't use on the last one. So I'm going to use that just there and just tear this piece off my hands are so sticky and I'm going to put that to there Where do I want that? Do I want that to go to there and just have that bit showing? Probably. Ugh. Oh, still trying to get the most out of this last bit of glue. So it keeps falling out, so it's nearly finished. So pull that right down to there like that. And then I think I'm going to use a bit of one of my lace papers there. I do like the flower, a bit of the flower, but um, 
I'm going to use it that way. It will only have a bit of the flour in. Very sticky these. Can I get any more out of this? I want it's all right using every last bit, but you want to make sure, yeah, that's gone. I'm going to have to just get another glue from behind me as if I've got all the time in the world and I haven't really. Uh, let me get a glue, I've got a father just behind me. Nothing's that far away from me because I'm, I'm not got a very big room. I'm also going to, it's a boiling hot day today, but it's humid. Um, it's, there's no sun out and actually it, it, Oscar seems to be quite calm in it. Excuse my arm, I'm just putting my fan on. Hope it's not too noisy. I was just getting exceptionally hot. Um, when the sun's out, it it makes him far too hot. But when it's humid like this, it doesn't seem to be affecting his cough that much. You know, no more than it is at, at any time. In the evening, when it's nice and cool, that's is at his best. Still coughs, but he's a bit more relaxed. He's had some really bad nights. So have we. So we can't sleep when we can hear him because we've been so worried about him. I want to use that piece up because I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to put that piece on there. What am I going to put down there? Let's have a look what else I've got. I can, can never do this tearing it from right at the very end so as you can see I am wasting and I'm making a right meal of it because my hands are so sticky but I'm rubbish at doing this and I know if you put your hand you know hold it like that in principle I know how to do it but I can never do it so Let's have a look. Let's put a piece of this. Right to that edge. And put that to there. Get that piece out of the way. Rachel do it and she does it so quickly I think it's not that easy or it isn't to me I can never do it that easy but then you are watching the master at work so yeah so I like that there and then I just need a little bit of something there Gonna put a piece of this in. Just put a piece of that in there. 
Have I not done that? After all that, I've not done that wide enough. Oh. Why? Yeah, I just turned it back off, turned it back on. You just missed me sticking this piece, that's all. So I can get that piece on there. And we've got five minutes left. So. Let's just. Hopefully this isn't going to be too sticky inside. I need to glue them together. I'll just leave it a second while I do this one. So this one I'm going to have that at the top. And so I'm going to glue... Oh no, did I say that one was going to be at the bottom? Yeah, that one's going to be at the bottom. That's what I was going to say. I've wasted putting that piece up there. So let's get some glue. What have I got? I'll use Fabri-Tac it's the only one I've got next to me. So we'll put some Fabri-Tac just to that crease. And then I think I'm going to leave that bit open because when this goes on your page, you know, that'll, be, that'll close that anyway. So that's my first one that I did. Room for journaling on that side and that on that side. And then I can put an image on when I actually decide where they're going. So that's that one. Then this one here, I'm going to do the piece at the top. So on that side, that's going to fold. They're very, very wet. That's going to fold over like that with journaling space. And this will fold this side like that. So I'm just going to trim the bottom of this because I've got a bit overhanging. Uh, tiny bit overhanging at the top. Move on a bit something. And then just glue this just to the crease. So they are still very wet. And again that will go to the side of the page. So if this was my journaling page, um, what you would do is you would attach that to there like that and that to there like that to make you flip. Just Coincidentally, I've used that and that, so it, you maybe can't see what I'm... So you would flip that like that. So that would be the bit of the flip on the side of the page there, if I get it equal. It's that stickier. <laughs> I get it equal. Let me do that again, just so you see what I mean. That's it. So if I get that right to that edge like that. And then I put that down there. That opens up like that. And then you would turn it back and that would lie against your journaling page. But it maybe wouldn't have the matching piece. I've just used that because it was the nearest piece. So you'd have that like that. And if you was doing this other one, ah, that's already stuck when I don't want it to. Um, and then this one, so it depends which way around you want them. You could do it that way again. And you just glue that to as far as the crease as you wanted it, like that. And then glue that on this side. And that's what you'd have showing on this side. And then when you fold it over, I'll say these are very wet at the minute. When you fold it over, you'd have that on this side. I am just going to 
just ink down there. I actually am going to cut a little bit off actually because I think that little bit's just showing. That's better. Yeah, so that's the challenge. I've managed to get um, one of the challenge week tw week twenty one done. Um, again, I'm just going to trim those little bits off because I didn't trim those down in my time. I was showing you how they went on a page, but I'm going to say that I got two finished. So there you go. So that's that one, and that's the back side of the other one. I like them both. I think they're both really pretty. And then that's the back side of that one and that's the front of that one. So I hope you like them. Um, and uh, I'll be back to you shortly with the next challenge. In the meantime, keep safe. Bye for now.